Coming up, Kazakhstan opened a second site for the manufacturing of a domestic COVID-19 vaccine. The country's deputy prime minister reviewed the work of the antigen enterprise located in the Almaty region. Over 2 million Kazakh residents completed their census forms online. Stay tuned to learn when the door-to-door -door visits begin. The Astana Opera Chamber Hall will be given the name of the Kazakh legendary opera singer who is called Kazakh Nightingale Kulash Basitova. Kazakhstan opened a second site for the manufacturing of a domestic coronavirus vaccine. Deputy Prime Minister Yerala Tukjanov reviewed the work of the antigen enterprise in the Almaty region. According to the Interdepartmental Commission, 300,000 validation batches of the Kazvak vaccine have already been produced there in September at a capacity of up to 1 million doses per month. International quality standards enable the enterprise to achieve high technical level, quality and reliability in all areas of production, the website PrimeMinister.kz says. The enterprise was launched as part of the instructions of the Kazakh president to ensure the country's biosafety indicated in his State of the Nation address. Kazakhstan reported 3,088 new cases of COVID-19 in the last 24 hours. Almaty has accounted for the highest single-day case count in the country. The southern metropolis recorded 719 new positive cases of infection. Karaganda region follows with 379 new cases. Nur Sultan is in third place with 325 new infections. Since the beginning of the pandemic, total COVID-19 cases in Kazakhstan have passed 842,000. According to data from the Kazakh Health Ministry, over 7 78,000 residents continue to receive treatment for coronavirus. Of them, more than 18,000 people are in patient care. To date, 5,906,080 Kazakh citizens have been fully vaccinated against the virus with two doses. Коронавирустың жаңа ошағы Қытайдың шығысында пайда болды. Фудзян провинциясының Путян қалалық оғырығынде бүргінде COVID-19 жұқтырған елуге жуық адам анықталды. Осыған байланысты мұнда эпидемиологиялы қауіп қатердің ең жоғары денгейі жарияланды. Барлық мектепте сабақ онлайн режимге ауыстырылды. Сонмен ғатар 15-40 көдейін 12-17 жас аралығындағы оқушыларды вакцинала Қатан сақтауға шақырды. Әрі жұмысты үйде отырып істеуге үндеді. Путяннан кеткісі келетіндер COVID-19 тестінің нәтижелері туралы анықтаманы ұсынуы керек. Жапония ел тұрғындарының жартысын коронавирусқа қарсы толық вакциналады. Бұл туралы ел экономикасын қалпына келтіру министрі Ясутоси Нисимура мәлімдеді. Беліктің жоспары бойынша 40-ге айының соғына ғарай бұл көрсеткіш 60 процент кежетет. Бұл жағдайда ел иммундау қарқыны бойынша Европа елдермен тенесет. Ал Түркияда коронавирусқа қарсы вакцинаның екі компонентін 40 миллион тұрғын салдырды. Бірінші дозасын 51 миллион адам қабылдаған бұл қалықтың 80 проценті. Ал 9 миллионнан астам тұрғын үшінші компонент алып ревакциналауға ниет танытқан. Елден салық сақтау министерілігінің соңғы ақпаратына сәйкес қалықты иммундау науқаны аясында вакцинаның бүгін көдейін 100 миллионнан астам дозасы пайдаланылған. In six months, Kazakhstan will start producing Russian Baikal aircraft for domestic aviation. So far, aircraft is planned to be only assembled under the Kazakh aviation industry. But by 2024, the country will begin the design and its own production of these airliners. This was announced by Director General of the Aviation Administration of Kazakhstan, Peter Griffiths. Overall, over the next three years, the country intends to actively expand its national aircraft fleet, he noted. Over the next three years, we have plans for 45 aircraft. So we have 51 aircraft operating scheduled commercial services. That's expected to rise at about 10% per year. With the expansion of the aircraft fleet, the requirements for flight safety are also growing. In this regard, Kazakhstan exceeded the world average of compliance with ICAO international standards by 15%, reaching this summer, according to preliminary results of the audit 84% indicator. 
С начала 2021 года инспекторами авиационной администрации по части летной... Since the beginning of 2021, about 140 inspections have been carried out by the aviation administration inspectors regarding the airworthiness of aircraft. According to the results of these inspections, 1,500 issues were identified that were eliminated by aircraft operators. In 2021, flights resumed and accordingly, there were more requests from airlines. Since the beginning of 2021, about 122 certificates of aircraft High flight safety in Kazakhstan is confirmed by regular independent international inspections. Thus, this summer, by the decision of the European Commission, our country was not included in the black list of airlines, which are prohibited from flying to the EU countries, proving a strong impetus to the development of this industry. The dates of the joint meeting of the presidents of the member states of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization and the Collective Security Treaty Organization have been announced. The event is scheduled for September 16th, 17th and will take place in Dushanbe. In addition, the transfer of the chairmanship of the SCO to Uzbekistan will be announced in the Tajik capital. President of Turkmenistan Gurban Gulibirdu Muhammadov stated the importance of transition of the country's economy to market relations on the principles of which the whole world operates. He has instructed to select young, competent and motivated leaders who will be able to work and govern as the times demand. More than 3 million Uzbek residents have been fully vaccinated against COVID-19, Kazinform News Agency reported. According to the country's health ministry, to date Uzbekistan has used a total of over 16 million doses of the vaccine. However, only 9% of the population has been fully immunized. A vaccination campaign was launched in Uzbekistan on April 1st. In response to the recent epidemiological situation, the country has adopted the law on mandatory vaccination. Орталық Азия ғоламалары қол жазбаларының көшірмелері бір жинаққа топтастырылды. Бірегей басылым 14-ші ғыргекті Ташкентте өтетін Орталық Азия әлемді көркөнеттер тоғысында атты қалғаралық форумды таныстырылады. Жинақты Европалық бір топ қалым Өзбекстандық мамандармен бірлесіп жасаған. Онда Орталық Азия елдерінде өмір сүрген олы ғоламалар Авторлардың айтуынша, алдағы уақытта жинаққа толық тұрғылар еңгізіліп, кітаптың тұсаугесерін Қазақстанда да өткізу жоспарланып отыр. Бұл жинақты басып шығару үшін ұзақ уақыт кетті. Көптеген архив құжаттары Франция, Олы Британия, Италия ақшысында елдердің музейлерімен кітап қаналарында сақталған екен. Сосын еңбектерінің қайысы нақты Қазақстанға, қайысы нақты Өзбекстанға жататын анықтау қиынға соқты. Себеу жазбалардың көбі парсы тілінде жазылған. Бізге еуропалықтарға орталық Азия елдерінің тарихы өте қызық болып отыр. Сіздердің мәдениеттеріңіз таңға жайып. Біздің ендігі міндетіміз осындай бай тарихи мұраны еуропалықтарға насиғаттау. According to the Bureau of National Statistics, over 2 million Kazakh citizens completed their census online. The largest number of respondents was reported in Almaty and Kazalarda regions, as well as in Almaty city, while the lowest number was registered in Mangastau and Atara regions. Those residents who do not fill out the census on their own will be visited by interviewers at home. They will begin their rounds on October 1st and finish them on October 30th. Law enforcement officers will ensure their safety. For all inquiries, citizens are asked to contact the call center center by number 1446. Kazakh spectators choose comedies. Movie enthusiasts prefer this genre mostly when choosing a film to watch. Domestic filmmakers taking into account the wishes of the Kazakh viewers, nevertheless, in addition to feel-good movies, also shoot documentary, historical and animation films. Kazakh Film Studio has presented more than 600 films over the 30 years of independence. Five more new films will be released in the near future. 
нас мало мотивационных фильмов. Мы привыкли смотреть мотивационные фильмы. We have few inspirational films. Полезно для молодежи, когда Потому что они знают, что этот герой рядом с тобой. The Chamber Hall of the Astana Opera Theater in Nur Sultan will be given the name of the Kazakh legendary opera singer who was called as Kazakh Nightingale, Kulash Basitova. Today a gala concert entitled Kazakh Tambulbulo, dedicated to a significant event, will be held in this hall. Honored figures and artists of Kazakhstan, as well as winners of international competitions, will take part in it. In addition, an exhibition will be opened in the theater's lobby, which will present photographs and letters of thanks from the personal collection of the famous singer, which were handed over by her daughter на все лето мы ездили в Москва, Ленинград, Киев, везде, где мама была. We traveled with her all summer, for example, to Moscow, Leningrad or Kyiv. That's we accompanied our mother everywhere. She was once invited to take part in the opera Daisy in the Palyashvili Theater in Georgia. So we went there. She sang Maros area in Kazakh while Georgian sang in Georgian. Mom said that her arms and legs were shaking, but she didn't show it. I wish everyone to be like my mother, such a simple and modest person. When she performed, the whole audience admired her singing. Я желаю, чтобы все были такими, как мама, все были такими простыми, скромными. Когда она пела, зал весь замирал. Kulash Basitova achieved incredible success at the age of 24, receiving the title of the People's Artist of the Soviet Union. The name and talent of this legendary singer were famous far beyond the Soviet Union. And today her memory lives on in her famous songs and compositions that are performed on stages around the world. An exhibition by artist Daria Kalimova Kastieva has opened at the National Museum in Nur Sultan. The event is dedicated to the 30th anniversary of the country's independence. The exposition is a kind of presentation of the young master's creative works. There are mainly exhibits of decorative and applied art, namely tapestries. I paint with oil on canvas. There are such small works. These are preparatory work for future tapestries. Tapestry is woven for a long time, for months, but I really like it. The exhibition also presents the works by Daria's father, famous Kazakh painter Muhit Kalimov. His portraits are refined skill, the use of characteristic nuances, the choice of soft pastel colors to create real works of art. The exhibition is open until the end of September. Farmers of the Shardara district of the Turkestan region have exported almost 45,000 tons of melons and gourds. The figures are not yet final. The shipment of watermelons and melons continues. The volume of harvest is growing every year. We collect 260 centers from each hectare, all thanks to high-quality fertilizers. Melons in the Shardara region were planted on 580 hectares of land. Most of the products grown here will be exported to Russian and European markets. Following the results of nine months, 44,000 tons of melons were exported. Last year this figure was lower. We supplied only 39,000 tons of melons and watermelons. Meanwhile, the demand for watermelons and melons only encourages farmers to expand their sown area. <laughs> 